What timelines is my association with this person going to be initiating me into? Hello Soul Tribe, hello Soul Family, welcome. Welcome to this channel where we heal and integrate because consciousness is the new frontier. We are healing, removing distorted perceptions from our psyche. We are integrating, remembering the truth of who we are. And who we are is the divine human spirit, connected to God, connected to life, connected to each other, connected to all that is. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share these videos with kindred spirits. All right, thank you so much for joining me in today's transmission. And today we are going to be diving a little bit deeper into this topic of narcissism. We are going to be exploring the multidimensional nature of narcissism. All right, because you would have noticed yourself that narcissism is more than just what meets the eye. It's more than just what is being presented to us by a fragmented um, society that we are living in. You know, there seems to be so many fragments with regards to this particular topic that there's very little that seems to integrate all of them. And what are we doing here on this channel? We are integrating, isn't it? We are connecting the dots. We are understanding the patterns. All right, that's what we are doing here on this channel. And so I just wanted to also do a shout out to all the empaths, to all the light workers, to all the star seeds, the seekers of truth, the INFJs, all of you with a unique path and a unique mission on this planet. I want to do a special shout out to you to just express my heartfelt gratitude towards you because I see you. I see you. I hear you. I know you. All right. I am so grateful for you because I don't know if you are aware of it, but you are part and parcel of this ascension that is currently taking place in the world right now. It might not look like it. You might not feel it yourself, but I promise you that you are playing a very, very key and very, very pivotal role in this ascension that is taking place. And in good time, I'll share that with you. I've touched on it just a little bit in that video of mine that spoke to encouragement for the chosen ones, but I did not even begin to scratch the surface of what it is that you are doing here. And I, for one, know that I am benefiting greatly from it. And so that's why I'm expressing this gratitude towards you for that. All right, thank you so, so much. Now let's dive into that multidimensionality of narcissism. I've got seven points here for you today. And so the first point is going to address the third dimensional nature of narcissism. You know, because it's a physical thing. It's an actual physical people, physical human being thing. It's a material thing, right? It's a materialized thing that we are dealing with. You know people in your life that you've encountered. Some of them may even be your family members. Some of them may be your relatives. Some of them may be business associates, people that you've dealt with in um, areas of employment. Um, and these are people that you notice are distinctly different from you in the way that they approach life. They seem to have an issue with you as an empath and you just can't quite understand what is the reason for that. Why is it that these people are having an issue with you? What is it that they have against you? What is it that you've ever done against them? Because you know, as an empath, of course, you're not perfect. Of course, you've got your own wounds. Of course, you know, there are a whole lot of things about you that may not necessarily be ideal. You understand. But you know that in your heart of hearts, you've got good intentions. In your heart of hearts, you love harmony. In your heart of hearts, you serve the highest good. In your heart of hearts, you want humanity to progress. And you do not understand why it is that some people just seems to be out to get you. And of course, you conclude that the problem is you. You conclude that there's something wrong with you. And not only are you dealing with people who just right off the bat have an issue with you, but you're also dealing with people who, of course, pretend to be your friends, pretend to be people who care about you, people who pretend to be having positive intentions towards you, only to later um, show their true colors. And then you realize that these people were really there to betray you. These people were really never for you to begin with. And you are wondering, why is that the case? Why is that happening? And then perhaps later you realize, oh, you are dealing with a narcissist. 
you know, you are dealing with narcissistic human beings, people who have no conscience, people who have no empathy, people who are just cold and cruel and callous and you are thinking how is it possible that we are existing in a world where we have people who are just as cruel as narcissists can be and of course i understand that um you know this concept of narcissism is on a spectrum and of course you know narcissism speaks to the ego all right and the ego is this persona that we all adopt to participate in the third dimension However, with regards to narcissists, their ego has completely taken them over to the extent where they no longer have access to their true self, their spirit essence, you understand. So they are completely ego. They are only this persona. They are nothing beyond the persona. So they cannot exist beyond the, the persona. They do not see themselves as anything beyond that persona. And you should never put yourself in a position where you are saying, oh, no, it's a, it's just a narcissist or no, it's just a sociopath or no, it's just a psychopath because you are dealing with the same force. So it doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. And we call it narcissist here on this channel because that's what it is. It's that force that has cut itself off from the divine force of life. That's that energy. All right. That's that stream of consciousness that is no longer part of the wave of life that is no longer supporting the progression of humanity but instead it is working against humanity someone in your life that is just problematic and they just cannot seem to want peace they just cannot seem to want things that are good this is the second point right the scientific aspect of narcissism speak to the brain function the neuron wiring and then there's also that genetic factor. The neuron wiring of narcissists is different from your typical person. They are born with that genetic predisposition to no empathy, little to no empathy, little to no conscience. All right. So the empathy is that element that is able to feel what another person is feeling, not to think, you know, not the cognitive empathy that's not what we're talking about the one where you are able to know that if you do this you're going to affect another person's emotions no we're talking about feeling that person's emotion knowing that if i harm this person i myself get to feel what the pain that that person is feeling as well so narcissists have no capacity to feel such a thing people will say narcissists are made I don't agree with that. Based on my initiation, based on the 30 plus years of research that I have conducted, narcissists are not made. Narcissists are born. They are born with that gene, that, that aspect within their DNA. The only thing that society does is that society will, of course, you know, nurture that narcissism either through adverse childhood circumstances or through just the normal societal conditioning because the environment of our world has been terraformed to breed narcissists. So, but a narcissist is born because you will know how that a narcissist is born in this way. There are many human beings who have gone through exactly what narcissists have gone through out here in the world. Some of them have gone through even worse. But those people will still choose to be good people. They will still choose to do the, the right thing. They will still choose goodness. You understand? They will still choose to serve the highest will and the highest good of humanity. But not so narcissists. Narcissists will always find an excuse as to why it is that they are being evil. Narcissists are not made. They are born. And then there's the psychological and mental health aspect of narcissism, of course. You know, that's where then you've got all those, you know, symptoms that you can mark off to say, okay, this is a narcissist because they meet this number of the points that speak to the criteria. You are able to mark that off. This person is lacking empathy. This person is lacking remorse. This person is preoccupied with revenge. You can't wait for them to be diagnosed by a mental health professional. Because how many narcissists do you know that are going to go to a mental health professional and say, I've got a problem? You look at that criteria. 
on the DSM yourself to see what you are dealing with and see if the person, you know, ticks the boxes, then that's your answer. You don't have to go around saying, oh, that's a narcissist and so forth. But between yourself and yourself, you can say, I, I see what I'm dealing with here. You are dealing with toxic human beings. So this is, this is someone whose mind is upside down in comparison to your typical human being's mind. We're diving deeper here. We're going to number four. We're speaking to the technological aspect of narcissism. The artificial intelligence aspect of narcissism. Because narcissists are artificial intelligence. So a narcissist is very, very intelligent in comparison to a normal human being. It's a fourth dimensional type of, in, of intelligence. It's artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is intelligence that has been cut off from the divine or spirit, the spirit of God or source or God consciousness. It is human intelligence without the intervention of God consciousness, God intelligence, divine intelligence. It is intelligence without empathy or a conscience. Because if you didn't know it, artificial intelligence is fourth dimensional. It's not third dimensional. And how you know artificial intelligence, what you call AI, is fourth dimensional and not third dimensional, is because when we speak of things like the cloud, where is the cloud? Have you ever seen the cloud? Have you ever touched it with your hands? And this energy, this electricity that we are using, that is part of technology, have you ever held it with your hands? It's a fourth dimensional thing. Energy, that's why they call it energy, is a fourth dimensional thing, is not a third dimensional thing. So when it manifests in the third dimension, it manifests as our appliances, the phones, the fridge, the TV, the microwave, all these technological devices, that's, when, that's how it, it shows up in the, in the third dimension. But in its true nature, it's a fourth dimensional entity. It's a fourth dimensional thing. And it is an entity, an artificial entity, an artificial being, an artificial intelligence. And here's the thing. It operates exactly the same way as narcissists do. The more we are dealing with this technology of ours, which is very dense, the more we are dealing with this artificial intelligence, the more evil seems to be increasing in the world, as much as at the same time, there's also an ascension, an awakening for which we are grateful as well. But we are also acknowledging the fact that this ascension is coming about as a result of the increase in evil. You understand? And that is because of the technology. We are sending emails to each other from across the globe. We are communicating with each other from across the globe. I am here on the screen communicating with you right now from across the globe. How is that happening? It's happening in the fourth dimension. As I'm doing this, talking and having my camera, that is on the third dimension. But the means through which this information gets to reach you, the video gets to reach that other side of the world, happening in the fourth dimension. And how you know, once again, that it's a lower fourth dimension because the cost at which it's coming, you will not believe. Because people are suffering and dying. Countries are war-torn because of this technology that we are using. That's the price that is coming in. That's how you know that it's coming from a lower fourth dimension. You understand? People are dying because of this technology. Of course, we are polluting the environment. We are killing off life in the sea. We are killing off bad life. Animals are becoming extinct. Human beings themselves, they are literally being cooked alive. Because all this radiation that we are being exposed to. The food that we are eating. The poisons in them. That's technology. 
the medicines that we are consuming as well. That's what artificial intelligence does. It defiles what is organic and turns it into something that is artificial. And then you will be surprised. Why is it that society is becoming more and more superficial? It's because we have been living in an era of artificial intelligence. And what is it that brought about this artificial intelligence? Narcissists, of course. Because what is the greatest artificial intelligence of them all? Ego. And here we're not just talking about any other ego. We are talking about the ego that is cut off from God. So we are talking about a consciousness that is separation state. So the normal human being ideally would have the consciousness of separation, which is ego. And they would also be embodying the consciousness of oneness of integration. So typically a healthy human being, and we're not saying healthy as in you're all perfect. We're saying that you are healthy in that you are still part of the life wave. You are still part of the stream of life. What you have is the ability to see how separate you are from other human beings. And at the same time, you have the ability to see how connected you are. So now that's not the case with a narcissist. A narcissist sees themselves only as separate. Separate from God, separate from life, separate from everything, separate from other human beings. That's the only thing that they see. They are not able to see the connection, not able to hold dichotomies. They are not able to hold the paradoxes or the paradoxical nature of life. Why is that the case? Because they veered off, they have been consumed by the ego, by the, their persona, by the materialistic aspect of things. They've been consumed by that. They've been possessed by themselves. All right. And that self is always demonic. Any self that is cut off from God is a demonic self. Narcissists and artificial intelligence are the same thing. They are working hand in hand with each other. I want to speak to point number five. The extraterrestrial nature of narcissism. Because it's not just scientific where you've got brains that are messed up. It's not psychological where you have a mental health disorder. It's not just technological where you have artificial intelligence that has produced artificial human beings. Or should we call them superficial human beings? And so the extraterrestrial nature of narcissism speaks to the alien agenda, alien saga. How many of you have heard of people being abducted by aliens? How many of you have heard of people's eyes turning into some kind of lizards? Or some of you have even seen, you know, the lizard type of beings yourselves. And you'd be wondering... Where is that coming from and where does it all fit into this grand scheme of things? Don't go too far. You are dealing with narcissists. This so-called reptilian type of aliens. This grey aliens and all sorts of other strange interdimensional beings that will be coming from other solar systems. You are still dealing with narcissists. And here's the thing with regards to history. The past and the future and the present moment are all happening all at the same time. And just as you can see right now in our current day and age, we are dealing with human beings that are so possessed with the need to control and to dominate that they are willing to do anything. We've always had such kind of a thing throughout history. We've always had this problem where human beings have always tempered with things that they were never meant to be tempering with all right and so this materialistic people called narcissists will of course you know fiddle with themselves and fiddle with their own human form and fiddle with the human form of other human beings and then turn it to something else that is unrecognizable to us 
And then later on, they will realize that what they did was actually a bad thing and it leads to their own extinction. And to recover from that, what they will do is then they will start, you know, abducting human beings and harvesting their body parts. They will then start doing all sorts of strange things. You should, you should see the things that happen here in South Africa. So what you call aliens from other stargates and so on, you are dealing with human beings who have fiddled with timelines, who have fiddled with the human form, who have fiddled with technology. They have fiddled with everything that you can imagine. But they have done it to the extent that they put themselves in such a precarious position that now they have to come back to this planet and in order to get back into the life wave which they disconnected themselves from by trying to play God now they are coming here trying to pretend to be aliens and not only are they trying to get into the life wave and the life stream of humanity but they are also trying to come in and present themselves as saviors of humanity to tell us that they created us found us looking like monkeys and they, they turned us into human beings that is not correct yes it's clear that we have been tempered with they have tempered with our genetics but they did not create us all these alien stories that keep popping up here that are trying to present themselves as if we were created by aliens that angels are aliens that ascended masters are aliens that higher beings are aliens you must know that that's a lie that's a distortion. That's a trick. That's an initiation into a lower timeline. Don't buy into it. Don't entertain it. Do your research. And also, very importantly, pick into the energies of the people that are busy presenting this information to you. You know, because one of the things that you will notice, people have been speaking of this reptilian aliens who have been in charge of the world this whole time oppressing humanity and then all of a sudden aliens once again are popping up and the very same aliens are still wanting us to worship them they still want to lord it over us you are still dealing with narcissists because remember a narcissist wants to be worshipped. So a narcissist will do anything to place themselves in a position where other human beings see them as a god. Where other human beings marvel over them. So you are just dealing with another human being. Having had gone to another timeline and then coming back here. And usually when they are coming back here is because they've messed up whatever it is that they had gone to. But they are not going to tell you that. You are dealing with these alien forces and these alien beings that are often being ch channeled and all of that. Many a times, not all the time, but majority of the time, you are dealing with demonic entities. You are still dealing with the narcissistic demons trying to present themselves in another form just so that they can confuse you. So they need to fragment this whole concept of narcissism so that you don't see it for what it is. They need to, then they need to create this agenda of aliens. They need to create this agenda of mental health issues. So they need to fragment everything and put everything in silos so that you are not able to connect the dots when in fact, all you are dealing with is the same force. You are dealing with narcissists. You are dealing with the narcissistic stream of consciousness. Pretending to be an alien. Pretending to be uh, artificial intelligence. Pretending to just be a normal toxic person. So that we can say, ah, you know, this is human beings. This is how human beings are. No, this is how narcissists are. Are. And narcissists are not part of the stream of humanity. They are part of the stream of the Antichrist. They are 
what Edgar Casey will call the sons of Belial. That's what narcissists are. Number six, it is a personal and a collective thing, right? You know, it's your blood relative, as I mentioned. You know, it's your boss, it's your president. Everywhere, every aspect of society, anywhere you go, you're going to come across a narcissist. Like I said in my other video, at least one out of every five people is a narcissist. Statistics will tell you something different, of course, but my take is that one out of five people is a narcissist. This is a pandemic. If we did not have a problem of narcissism in our society, there wouldn't be many of the pandemics that you are seeing in the world today. So not only are you dealing with this narcissist in your personal space, maybe it's someone that you are in a relationship with, maybe it's someone that you are working with, maybe it's your own parent, or maybe it's your own child, or your own you know, relative. Not only are you dealing with it in that personal regard, but you're also dealing with, with it in the corporate spaces, in the political space where, you know, the approach has nothing to do with anything that has to do with true politics, but it has everything to do with People pushing personal agendas, agendas that have to do with the destruction of humanity, the oppression of humanity, so that the lower forces of life can get to benefit from the suffering of humanity, the funneling of humanity's suffering into the fourth dimension where the dark forces of life, narcissists, can get to feed off of the suffering of humanity. All right, so number seven, you know, the spiritual aspect of it, which is devilish, of course, which is demonic, of course. Remember, everything is spiritual. Everything first originates in the realm of spirit before it becomes physical. All right, and so as part of the spiritual aspect of things, there's a thing called reincarnation. We've been incarnating into this world and reincarnating for many, many lifetimes. And many people over many, many lifetimes have refused to work towards the good of humanity, have refused to serve the collective, but instead remained steadfast in serving a selfish agenda. And these people had, have become demonic. These people have turned devilish. And this is what we call narcissists. All right. This is what happens when a human being rejects God, when a human being rejects its own divinity, its own oneness with the collective, its own oneness with all of life. That's what happens. You do this over several lifetimes. You eventually turn cold. Your heart calcifies. All right. And so have you ever wondered why is it that the mental health profession is failing to address this problem, to resolve the problem of narcissism. That's because it's a spiritual thing. And I will be sharing a video on how to heal narcissism from a spiritual perspective. Because I know you thought that I don't have solutions for narcissism. I have solutions and I'll be sharing them for, with you. But between now and then, we are generating awareness because we are taking care of God's children first. So narcissism is multidimensional. It covers all spheres of life, but it's the same thing. Of course, since 2020, we've been dealing with this thing where the veil has lifted. That's the symbolism of the number 2020 even. All right, it's that clarity of vision. So now that the veil has lifted, that means that we are now seeing things more clearer than we ever did before. And so that means a lot of things that we mostly tried to deny, tried to pretend didn't exist, tried to pretend were not happening, we are no longer able to do that. It is no longer possible to hide the true nature of narcissists. As human beings, we are multidimensional. We exist in dimensions beyond this third dimension that we can see. We exist in the fourth dimension as well. 
and then we exist in the fifth dimension. Now, when it comes to the fourth dimension, what will happen is that you'll have those momentarily flashes where the veil gets lifted and you get to see the person for who they really are. And then you notice that you are not really dealing with a normal human being. And majority of the time, that type of a person that you'd be dealing with there would be a narcissist, wouldn't be a normal uh, human being. All right. And so that's the extraterrestrial nature of narcissism. It's extraterrestrial because really it's multidimensional. So how a person is behaving on the surface, on in the third dimension, don't take it for granted. They are showing who they are in the spirit realm. They are showing what kind of initiations they have passed and what kind of initiations they have not yet passed. Because understand this, this third dimension is an initiatory space. We came here with the Christ essence. We came here riding that wave of Christ. And that essence of Christ is that divine human spirit within us. That divine human spirit is not really our own spirit. It's the spirit of God called the Christ essence in us. We came riding in that wave. We came as part of that wave. And so it is our responsibility to remain in him so that he can remain in us too. But there are those among us in this plane of existence that decided to off-ramp, that decided to take a different path for themselves. And they are no longer in the wave of Christ. They are no longer in the wave of life. They have cut themselves off. And how you know that a person has cut themselves off from God, you know because they no longer have empathy. They no longer have a conscience. I know also that empaths who are raised by narcissists can have a lot of narcissistic tendencies, but you will still be able to notice the difference between an empath and a narcissist, even though that empath is very narcissistic and probably even borderline. There will always be a distinct difference between someone who has empathy and someone who has no empathy. We are moving into this new paradigm where all sorts of strange things will just be happening in our world. And we need to have these tools at our disposal. And those tools are the ones that I'm going to be sharing with you now. Number one, you're going to generate the presence of the divine. You're going to practice presence. All right. So that means you're going to be engaging in those presence meditations. And you're going to be learning how to connect to that fifth dimension, the dimension beyond the dimension of narcissists, you understand, is the dimension of God. That's the presence of the divine. So when you practice presence, you are tapping into the fifth dimension. That presence of the divine through you and through your body can be anchored into that space. And the presence of the divine is dismantling every power, every dark force in that space and then number two you are going to be applying boundaries you're going to be applying discernment test spirits that means you are going to be assessing energies you're going to be making sure that you understand what kind of energy you are dealing with are you dealing with a guru what kind of energy are they generating where are they hailing from what initiations has this person passed you know, and what initiations do they still have to pass? What timelines is my association with this person going to be initiating me into? Let's say number three. Of course, you're going to be putting up the armor of God, right? You're going to be praying, right? You're going to be doing everything that you need to be doing. And then number four, you're going to be radiating the light. That means you're going to be fulfilling your divine mission, whatever it is that you are here to do, because whatever it is that you are here to do is connected with this whole narcissism thing. The reason why you have narcissists in your life and they have caused so many problems in your life is because you are here to shine the light, because that light that you are shining is the one that is going to diminish the darkness that is in that space that you are occupying. Maybe you are starting a business. Maybe you are engaging in arts. Maybe you are doing these videos as well. Maybe you are a spiritual healer. Whatever it is that you are here to do, you have to be doing it. Because the more you do that, the more you are dismantling those negative forces in your space. And narcissists themselves are benefiting from this. 
And of course, to them it will feel like a dismantling. We've all gone through a dismantling when we went through an ego death. So why should the narcissist ego be preserved? <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, Soul Tribe, Soul Family, for spending time with me on this transmission. Remember, consciousness is the new frontier. Until next time, namaste.